By attacking Pusha T on Travis Scott's latest album Utopia, and bringing Farrell into the fight, Drake has reignited his feud with the rapper. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. A menacing guest verse from the Six God on the song Meltdown is among the many a list features on Travis' eagerly awaited project, which was finally released at midnight on Friday. Drake makes a not-so-subtle reference to Virginians on the double-sided track, which was produced by Coleman, BNYX, Boy Wanda, Vinyls, and Tay Keith. I melt down and change that I bought from your boss. Give a fuck about all of that heritage shit. Since V not around, the members, the members don't hung up the Louis. They're not even not wearing even that shit. Drake raps. The custom chains that Farrell auctioned off last year and that Drizzy later wore in his Jumbotron shit poppin video appear to be the ones that Drake is alluding to in this song. A 14 Kelvin three-tone nerd pendant chain, a white gold brain pendant chain, and a skateboard pendant chain were among the $3.3 million worth of jewelry. Meanwhile, V pays homage to the late fashion icon Virgil Abloh, who Farrell succeeded at Louis Vuitton after his passing. The OVO sound hitmaker raps these lines later in his verse, you lucky that Vogue was suing. Vogue was suing cause I would've been with the Wassels in Paris. This sounds like a warning shot directed at Skateboard P and Pyrex P, who were both in Paris last month for the former's debut Louis Vuitton fashion show, and Pusha T's attack on Jim Jones in a new clip song. While Wasses is Toronto street slang made popular by OVO affiliate Pressa, Drake and 21 Savage were sued by Vogue last year for creating a fake magazine cover to promote their joint album Her Loss. Although this is the first time Drake has attacked Farrell, he is not new to making lyrical jabs at Pusha T when they exchanged Savage diss songs back in 2018. The pair's long-standing animosity erupted into one of hip-hop's most famous conflicts. Drizzy responded with the brutal doopy freestyle after the clip's MC attacked the Toronto native for allegedly using a ghostwriter on his Daytona single Infrared. Drake's reference to Pusha's wife, Virginia Williams, gave the former good. Music rapper the opportunity to investigate Drizzy's own family matters on the story of Adidon, and famously expose him for hiding a child, in reference to his son Adonis, whose existence had not yet been made public. Push later revealed that the lewd information was obtained through some bad pillow talk from Noah Forty Shebib, Drake's longtime producer. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.